guys! So I am really excited for today's video because we are going to be talking about one of my favorite things, aside from books, and that is TV shows. I love TV. I watch TV probably more than I should, um, but that leads to me having a lot to talk about when it comes to TV. And usually when school first starts off, I'm like bitter about the fact that fall TV shows haven't come back because I'm like, I'm in school, TV shows should be back to like help me deal with all the stress. But that's... It's logical. I feel like it's logical. Anyways, so Fall TV is coming back. I think next week is like the big release of a lot of shows. So I'm just going to be talking about a lot of my favorite TV shows, when they're coming back, what they're about. If you haven't watched them, maybe this will make you watch some. So the first two slash four shows I'm going to talk about is Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, Chicago PD, and there's a new one coming out called Chicago Justice. I am a complete sucker for all of these shows. All of them. I could... All of them. Absolutely all of them. I'm sorry. I'm... It's obvious. Okay. Chicago Fire was the first one... So Chicago Fire is the first of this quadruple series that first came out. And my mom and I have been a sucker for it ever since. It comes out October 11th. And, uh, by the way, forewarning, I could be completely wrong about these dates, so don't hate me if I am. So it's basically just a group of firefighters and paramedics in Chicago that deal with a lot, and there's drama and action, and I love it. Which, the second one that I'm excited is Chicago Med, which was the third in this quadruple Chicago series. The second one was Chicago PD, but I don't really watch it. I don't know why. I love the main female actress, I just don't watch the show. There's no good reason. I watch it when there's like big crossover events, but who really knows why I don't watch it? I don't. So the next one is Chicago Med, and that one comes out September 22nd, which I think is next week, so I'm super pumped about that. Um, and this one is just Chicago people in a hospital. So... <laughs> Chicago drama. The next one is coming out is new this year and it's called Chicago Justice and all I can get from this is that it's gonna be about law and I love political shows so let's do this Chicago. The next show I'm gonna talk about is Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and that one comes on the CW. I binged watched this entire show in like a couple of days and it's a musical which is just great in every way and then I watched I saw that um Poland Books Banana watched it and I was like hey let me go watch all of her videos about this which happened to be only one but I still watched it it was still great and season two comes out let's reference over the computer October 21st I think that's a Friday it's gonna be so weird for me to have a show on a Friday because they're like all on Tuesdays and Thursdays Speaking of Thank God It's Thursday, let's jump on into that with Thank God It's Thursday by Shonda Rhimes. First show that I'm going to talk about is How to Get Away with Murder, which I kind of just stopped watching halfway through season two, so we're going to stop talking about that. I'm sure it's great. I just stopped watching. I have no good reason why. The next one is that I'm really excited for, and that is Grey's Anatomy, season 50 probably at this point. Um, I don't know if this is the last season or not. Whoever really knows when it's the last season. And Grey's Anatomy comes out September 22nd, so we're all pumped for that. And the next one on TGI is Scandal, also by Shonda Rhimes. Um, Scandal, actually, I haven't been able to find an official release date, but it would feel very, very odd if it did not come out the same day as Grey's Anatomy. So we're going to tentatively say September 22nd, but that's completely my own guesswork. I love this show. I'm just not realizing. I'm not even talking what all these shows are about. I'm just flipping out about them. Um, so Grey's Anatomy, if you don't know what that's about, it's a lot of drama with doctors in a hospital. And then Scandal... I don't even know how to describe Scandal. Um, if you don't aspire to be Olivia Pope, you probably should. That's the only good explanation I can come up with. The next show we're going to talk about is Gilmore Girls A Year in the Life. We're going to call it a show. It's more like a special, but it's a show. It's an extended version of Gilmore Girls, which I'm currently re-watching on Netflix, season three. What up? Um, this one comes out November 25th, and I'm kind of just forcing myself to watch all seven seasons in a very condensed amount of time. So, I haven't gotten much reading done this month. Oops. Um, and this is just going to be in different seasons. So it's going to be fall, summer, winter, spring. I forgot the seasons for a second. And it's just, I think they're going to be like two hour specials for each one. And I'm beyond pumped because Lorelai Gilmore is me. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which comes back September 22nd. I like that you can see me glance over to see if I'm right on the date every time that I say a day. Anyways, that's not important. So Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comes back, and the last season finale absolutely ruined me. So I really, really need this show to come back soon. 
like really soon. I think it comes back next week and like while I want it to come back, I'm still not prepared at all. Anyways, so this is a Marvel show. Um, it's about, I can't even say things because those would be spoilers. Um, it's Marvel. If you like Marvel, watch it. It also, like, different groups of episodes go in between all the Marvel movies, and it's all, like, chronological, and it's really cool, and if you haven't watched it in that order, you totally should, because it's a great way to waste your time. Show number whatever I'm on now is Once Upon a Time, which comes back September 25th, and I'm about half a season behind on this show, but it's on Netflix, so I, I think I can make it. I think I can, like, speed watch half a season in a day or two. I'll just have to say no to any responsibilities that may come my way. But it's okay. We'll make it through it. Another show that comes out on September 25th is Quantico. I think it's actually Once Upon a Time and then Quantico directly after it, so that would make sense. And it jumps back and forth between time when they're in the Academy and then when they're out of the Academy, and it just, like, I don't know. The character development is everything to me, and if you haven't watched it, please do, because it's truly such a good show. Season one was last year, and then season two is going to be this year, because that's how numbers work, and I just, watch it, please. If you love FBI shows, just watch it. The next show that I'm going to talk about is Supergirl, and that comes out October 10th. I just completely binged watched Supergirl on Netflix season one, and the episode with The Flash was my favorite. It was so good. I literally screamed when Barry Allen just like strutted into the scene. Anyways, that's not important. Um, Supergirl is about Supergirl. I don't know how else to describe it. Once again, if you like superheroes and you're more directed towards DC, watch Supergirl. If you haven't caught on by now, I really like superheroes. The next show I'm going to talk about is Superstore, and that one comes out September 22nd, and this is just like a little 20 minute comedy, and I wasn't expecting to like it, I was just like, I needed something to watch in between the 30 minutes I had for school and work when I was in high school, and I was like, hey, this is on demand, and then I watched it, and then I loved it, because it's like the quirkiest comedy humor little setup, and it's in a superstore, and it just like shows what customer service workers have to deal with, and it just like, I relate to it on a spiritual level so just watch it if you just need like a quick 20 minute comedy watch it also side note if you need other quick 20 minute comedies watch young and hungry and baby daddy both on freeform ABC Family. Let's all be honest, it's still ABC Family. Speaking of ABC Family, wow, the segues in this video are all over the place. Um, I do want to see Shadowhunters, I'm just not talking about it because it doesn't come out until next year, like early next year area, so it's not like technically fall TV. Fifth segue in this video, another video that comes out early next year instead of fall TV that I'm also really excited about is The Hundred, because what was up with last season? I just, I'm kind of desperate to see season four just because I have no idea what happened last season. I, mm, protect Raven Rays, that's all I got. The next show that I'm excited to see is The Voice, and that is September 20th. Uh, my mom and I both watch this show every single Monday and Tuesday, and if not, we, like, plan to watch it, like, a certain day. Like, we have to have it done before the next episode comes out. We love this show, like, so much. I'm very interested to see Alicia Keys. I love Alicia Keys. Her voice is phenomenal, and I feel like she's going to be such a good coach. I am going to miss Pharrell, however. I really liked Pharrell as a coach, and I also love Christina Aguilera. But we still get to see Blake and Adam's quarrel, brotherness, bromance, steal. So, I mean, that's worth watching alone. Also, the talent, I feel like, is going to be really good this year. Like, last year wasn't bad, it just wasn't my favorite season, so I feel like this year is gonna, like, live back up to the hype. If you somehow don't know what The Voice is, it's basically, like, four famous singers facing away from the stage in a chair, pretend like that's the stage, and, like, a singer comes up and sings, and so it's called The Voice because they're focused on the voice and not the looks. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay, just watch it if you somehow haven't. Some new shows that are coming out that I'm excited to see is Conviction with Hayley Atwell. That comes out October 3rd, I believe? Yes, October 3rd, I remembered. I have absolutely no idea what the show is about. I'm just going to be straight up about it, but it has Hayley Atwell, so I'm like, does it really matter that I don't know what it's about? It doesn't, because Hayley. I'm going to watch it. Also, Agent Carter got cancelled, and I'm really, really not pleased with that. Anyways, as long as I get to see Haley on my screen doing her beautiful 
beautiful, powerful woman stuff, I'm fine. <laughs> the second out of three new shows that I am excited to see is This Is Us, which comes out September 20th, and it looks kind of like it has like a Valentine's Day, New Year's Day, Valen I already said that, Mother's Day, New Year's Eve type of vibe. Did that make any sense? You know those movies that have that type of vibe? I don't know. It looks really emotional. I feel like it's going to be more of an honest show that I haven't really seen on TV in recent years, so I'm excited to see what's up with that. I'm not looking forward to bawling my eyes out, but I feel like it may happen at some point. So, This Is Us. I think it's going to be on ABC. I don't know. I should probably find that out. <laughs> and the third of three show, new shows that I'm excited to see is Designated Survivor with Kiefer Sutherland. Um, I just pronounced his name wrong, let's ignore that. This one comes out September 21st, I believe, and he was in 24, which I loved and my dad loved, and we just, like, it's a good show. It's a really good show. If you haven't watched 24 and you have a Netflix account, go watch it because it's all on Netflix. So, that, 24, we're not talking about 24, sorry. So Designated Survivor, I think it's about, like, this guy that's, like, the designated survivor if the president dies. I, d I don't know, is that even a real thing? I haven't been taught about that in government, um, but if it is a real thing, then I would totally vote for Kiefer Sutherland. I'm guessing you don't vote for the designated survivor. That's probably some like top secret thing. I'm getting off task. Anyways, I'll put trailers down below if you're interested in seeing any of these new shows. Um, yeah, so next show... Oh, I just popped my finger. Next, I have the last four shows I'm going to talk about, and then I promise I'll be done. Um, and these are shows that I have begun to watch, and I have not finished, but they're still coming back. I just can't watch them live because they have not finished. So... Let's talk about him. The first one is Jane the Virgin on the CW. I love this show. The comedy is so wonderful, and Gina Rodriguez is like everything to me. The reason that I haven't been able to watch this is because I watch it with Deanna and Dana, who have been in some of my other videos, and we all watch it together, and we're all in college, and so it's really hard to like coordinate a time. There's so much hand movement going on right now. It's hard to coordinate a time for us to all three get together and watch it, so we're like six episodes into season two. Um, but you know what? Whenever we get together, we'll watch it and watch season three at some point. So the next show I'm going to talk about is The Flash, which is also on the CW. And the reason I haven't watched this one is because Netflix apparently hasn't thought it's important to um, put season two up. What's going on there? The last season of Grey's Anatomy was on like a week after it ended and season two of The Flash ended months ago and it's still not up. Season three is on its way and I'm just sitting here like waiting for season two and I really don't want to buy it. I'm really trying to keep from buying it. Like I pay for Netflix for a reason. Anyways, I understand that there's like legal documents that have to be like all sorted out, but I'm still bitter about it. I need season two. I need more Barry Allen in my life, okay? I'm just realizing that all these last four shows that I haven't finished are on the CW. Anyway, so the next one is Rain. Um, and I am on season one of this show. I'm really behind. I'm sorry. I started rewatching Go More Girls and I just stopped watching Rain. It's really good though. I was like really into it for a while. And then Go More Girls popped into my brain and I was like, hey, rewatch it. Okay, we're talking about Rain. Let's go back to Rain. So this show is about Mary and she is the Queen of France. And is she the Queen? Crap. It's been a while since I watched it. I still want to finish it. And I season four is coming up. And I read a spoiler, and it's like such a big spoiler, and I'm really mad about it, and I'm just trying to like push it out of my brain and pretending like it's not real. Um, so anyways, I hate spoilers with a burning passion. So anyways, Rain, and she's like trying to like get good relations with England so they can like team up and France and England can be like buddy buddies and then they can like fight people. I don't know. I just like the show, and Mary is like super independent and cool, and I want to be her. Speaking of countries building up, Game of Thrones, where are you at? Also, I'm gonna watch Orphan Black on Amazon. I, that's just another side note. I don't know why Game of Thrones made me think of that. This video is a mess, everyone. <laughs> and the last show that I'm going to talk about is Arrow, which is also on the CW. What is my hand? Um, so Arrow is also another DC comic book show. So is The Flash. I don't think I talked about that. Anyways, back to Arrow. So Arrow is about Arrow. <laughs> I don't even know if that's his superhero name. I'm sorry. I got like four episodes in, and I know that I've been told time and time again to get past like six episodes, and then it gets really good. I just suck as a human being. 
so I haven't done that and I just I'll like click on other shows and I just I don't know man I'm gonna jump on into a Netflix section because I said I was done but I'm totally not I'm almost done I promise so the get down needs to come back stranger things really really needs to come back like I know it's going to come back but I still need it to like be here right now I need all of my shows to be here right now anyways another one Jessica Jones needs to come back um let's see daredevil um, Luke Cage is coming out, The Defender, I think that's what it's called, Iron Fist is gonna come out, um, uh, The Punisher, is that gonna be one? I think that's gonna be one. Um, yeah, so, I watch <laughs> so much TV. Are you realizing this now? Um, I think that's it. I would love to know what kind of TV show, guys, you, I, mm. I'm not even going to try to ask the question because I can't say English at the moment. So I hope you have a wonderful day or night or whatever time it is, wherever you are, and thank you for watching. Time, which comes back September 22 comes back to September 12 why can't I say these dates and these months out loud on now is once upon I hate myself